Hi there, my name is Andy Frost. I'm the director of the charity Share Jesus International. Over the last almost 25 years, we've done a whole range of projects looking at how we share and communicate the Christian faith. But I want to introduce for you right now the idea of the Emmaus project. Over those 25 years, we've often worked with individual churches or groups of churches where we've gone and done training days. We'll turn up for a day in a church building, do some training, and then leave again. People say thank you, the material is well received, but I've always wondered what is the long-term impact and legacy. Over the last couple of years, I'm working alongside my colleagues Marcus Bennett and Claude Ellerington on the Emmaus Project, looking at how rather than doing a hit and run one day training, how we instead come alongside a local church over two years to help them think about mission and evangelism in their context. I think leading a church is one of the hardest jobs out there. There are always so many spinning plates. There are DBS checks and youth work. There are things around worship and community. There are financial, perhaps, issues or constraints. There are so many different things on your plate that often mission and evangelism can get pushed to the sidelines. It's important, but it isn't always seen as being quite so urgent. The Emmaus journey is a way of actually helping to keep this on the agenda week in, week out, to make sure that mission and evangelism is embedded into every aspect of church life. Over the last couple of years, we've been working with 10 local churches on this project. It's been really encouraging to see the impact that it's had as people have come to faith, as Christians have grown in their confidence in sharing their faith. Over those years, we've seen a couple of churches that were either stagnant or in decline that are now growing again. And they say the Emmaus project has been a key part of what has happened to transform and change their local church. In the Bible, we have the idea of the evangelist. And I think it's really important that the evangelist works alongside local churches. Marcus has given me three really helpful insights that we see in the New Testament. The first is in Acts 6, where Philip the Evangelist actually helps set up the first food bank. Evangelists are often good at seeing the need and seeing how to connect with the wider community. The second thing is that Timothy is told to do the work of the evangelist. Evangelists have this ability to communicate the Christian faith and give people an opportunity to respond. And the third thing we discover about evangelists is found in Ephesians 4 verses 11 to 12. When they're told to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. Evangelists see the need, they see the opportunity. They do the work of the evangelist, they give people a chance to respond to the gospel. And thirdly, they encourage each and every member of the church to find their role in sharing Jesus. So how do we do this very practically? The Emmaus Project looks at kind of two big ideas. The first idea is the idea of scaffolding. Now, if you have work done in your house, you might have scaffolding brought in. And the scaffolding comes for a time and is put in a certain place to perhaps fix a chimney or to fix a window or to fix a gutter. Scaffolding is the things that we do as a local church. It's the services that we run, the events that we have, the clubs that we organise, the parent and toddler group that meets regularly in our building. What are some of the things that we have and how do we begin to line them up to help people go on a journey of faith discovery? What do we need to do intentionally and strategically to help people on that journey going forwards? Jesus is very strategic when it comes to the feeding of the 5,000. He tells his disciples to get people into groups of 50s and 100s so they can be fed. I love that concept that actually Jesus was quite organised and strategic at times. And sometimes perhaps the church can learn something from this. So the first thing is the scaffolding. It's the things that we do. How do we line these things up accordingly? The second thing is the culture. Now the culture is the way we do things around here. Culture eats strategy for breakfast. I love that phrase because it's so true. We can have some great vision statements, some great ideas, some great concepts. But if we don't change the culture, then these things will not come to fruition. Cultural change is about encouraging every Christian to discover they play a role in sharing Jesus. In the prayers that they pray, in the things that they do, and in the things that they say. 
We want to support local churches through the MS project in seeing the scaffolding, the things that we do, but also in the culture, the way that we do things. The Emmaus Project is delivered by a mission catalyst, or a coach, that comes alongside the local church for those two years. They have two lots of experience. First of all, they understand what church leadership is like. They've been involved in some way in leading a church. They understand the tensions and the challenges. But they also have the experience of being an evangelist, somebody who communicates the Christian faith relevantly and faithfully. And they bring these two bits together as they come alongside you to serve you in your context. Now it's really important to know what the Emmaus journey is and what it is not. It is not us coming and doing mission and evangelism for you. We're really coming alongside you to coach you, to help you think through your context and what it means to have that cultural change and to think through the scaffolding of the things that you do as a local church. Second of all, it's not us telling you what to do. You know your church, you know your context, you know what has worked and what hasn't worked. But we'll come with a fresh pair of eyes, a different perspective, and help you prayerfully discern what things might look like in this season as you look to share Jesus relevantly and faithfully. And third of all, it's not about a pre-packaged programme. We have loads of ideas, loads of tools, loads of concepts from ourselves and from other partners but our desire is to serve you in your moment, in your context. And so we really want to look at what fits best, what might help you on that journey going forwards. So that is the Emmaus project. We long to make it as affordable as possible. So we've got three different levels on the website of bronze, silver and gold. And these different levels come with a whole range of resources that we've created over those last 25 years. I'll finish with this. It's called the Emmaus Project because I love the story in Luke 24 of Jesus coming alongside those two disciples. They were slightly downcast. But Jesus comes alongside them, reveals who he is, and they are transformed in that moment that they rush off to go and share the good news that Jesus has risen from the dead. For me, the Emmaus journey is about a journey we go on together as we glimpse a fresh insight of who Jesus is and get excited again about how we share the best news of all. God bless you. And if you want to journey further with the Emmaus Project, then do get in touch.